everyone. I'm going to provide a brief demonstration of the Healthcare Referral Networks Hub, PageRank and Community Detection Starter Kit on Tagograph Cloud. The insights that this solution yields can be very powerful. The first of these is determining the referral relationships between prescribers. In some healthcare environments, especially PPOs, the information contained in a data set can be limited. We may know that a general practitioner called Dr. Douglas Thomas submitted a claim after seeing a patient experiencing shortness of breath, but are unable to connect that to subsequent events, such as a cardiology specialist called Dr. Helen Sue submitting a claim after seeing a patient for shortness of breath. Tigergraph is able to reveal these connections and much more. The schema for this starter kit is relatively simple. There are five vertex types, prescriber, in other words, provider or doctor, patient, in other words, member, claim, subspecialty, and specialty. And these vertices are connected by the five edge types shown here. We've created this starter kit to enable you to get going faster, but you have the option to customize the graph schema if you choose to. If you change the schema, you need to click on this icon publish schema after making the change, but if you don't change anything, you can skip that step. Okay, let's get started and uncover those referral relationships. First, let's look at the data that we have available to load into the graph. We have data on claims, which will map to the claims vertex, and data to map to each of the edges. We've already mapped that data to the graph schema for you, but you have the option of changing the mapping to suit your specific needs or uploading your own data. If you change the data mapping, delete a file or upload a new file, you need to click on this icon, publish data mapping after making the change. But if you don't change anything, you can skip that step. Now we need to look at, now we need to load the data into our graph. Click on this icon to begin that process. You can see from these labels and the word pending inside them that the data is loading. And you know the data has finished loading once all of the labels turn green and the text says finished. And there we are. This table on the right is helpful. It reveals that we have a total of 11,158 vertices and 40,332 edges. And the vast majority of vertices are the claim vertex as we would expect. Now let's explore our graph. In this example, we want to identify referral networks between prescribers. So let's choose prescriber as the vertex type. And in our example, we're interested in detecting the referral network for Dr. Douglas Thomas. So let's enter Douglas Thomas as the vertex ID. And there he is. Double click on the vertex for Dr. Douglas Thomas, and we can see the network, the single hop network of vertices surrounding him. And the majority, not surprisingly, are claims. And this vertex for his subspecialty. Now, remember that we want to know about his referral network, and especially if he has referred any patients to Dr. Helen Sue. And to do that, we need to write a query. Luckily, the starter kit has several pre-populated queries. And the one I'm most interested in is this one. Example two, create referral edge. 
Here's the name of the query, and here's the parameter. This query takes one input, prescriber, and creates a referral network for that prescriber. This starter kit has several pre-populated queries to enable you to get going faster. But you have the option of adding your own queries or editing the ones already here. You need to click on this icon, Install Query, if you edit a query or add a new one, or even if you don't change anything. But I'm going to click on this icon, Install All Queries, because I'm going to run a different query in this demonstration. It will take about three minutes to install these queries. And there we are. All of the queries have been installed. Now, although I want to know the referral network for Dr. Douglas Thomas, I may also be interested in knowing the referral network for Dr. Helen Sue or indeed any of the other prescribers in this data set. So I'm going to run another query, example two, main query. This query will reveal referral edges for all of the prescribers in our data set. Here's the name of the query. And the key thing to note is that this query runs this subquery that creates the referral edges. So in total, this main query will build referral edges for every prescriber in the data set. Click here to run the query, and it's done. And now let's see the results. And voila, here we have created referral edges for all of the prescribers that Dr. Douglas Thomas has a relationship. And indeed, we can see that he has referred patients to Dr. Helen Sue, but he's also referred patients to Dr. Roger Smith and Dr. Neil Patel. Now we're ready to demonstrate a second capability of this solution, determining the patients common to two different doctors. And in this case, we'll find out the patients common to both Dr. Douglas Thomas and Dr. Helen Sue. And to do that, we select this query, example one, common patients. Here's the query. And as always, to run the query, we select Run Query button. Douglas Thomas is one of the doctors we're interested in, and Helen Sue is the other. And here we see patients common to both doctors. Here are the doctors. Here are the claims. And here are the patients. Now we're ready to demonstrate a third capability of this solution, determining which doctors have the most referrals. And to do this, we select another pre-populated query in this starter kit, the page rank query. This is the famous page rank query developed by Larry Page of Google, although in our case, we're using it to find the most influential doctors, not the most influential websites. And this is the page rank algorithm recreated in GSQL. The brevity of this query, just a few lines, is another demonstration of the power of GSQL. 
to run the query. To run the query, we enter values for the maximum change. damping factor of 0.15 and limit the output to 10 lines and here we have our list of the most influential prescribers prescriber 69 has the highest rating and we're displaying 10 results all the way down to prescriber 19. If we want to see Dr. Thomas, I know from running this query earlier that he's in the 40s, in the 40s in terms of the most influential prescribers. And should be coming up soon. Voila, he has a score of one. Finally, I'll demonstrate a fourth capability of this versatile starter kit, detecting communities. And in this case, I'll detect communities of doctors. And to do that, we'll use Algo Louvain, uh, uh, an algorithm based on the famous a query developed by the University of Louvain that extracts communities from large data sets. Here's the query. I won't go through it. It's a long one, uh, but we run the query in the usual way. We've pre-populated the query for you and voila, here are the results. These are all the prescribers in our data set. And by picking anyone, I can find the community associated with it. Here's the community for prescriber 69. This is the prescriber here, page rank of coincidentally of 1.365, so one of the more influential. In fact, I think that is the most influential prescriber in this data set. I think we saw that in the, when we ran the page rank query. And uh, here are the prescribers in that community. Here are the claims. And uh, looks like the subspecialty for this doctor is shoulder, for this doctor is shoulder surgery. And that brings us to the end of this brief demonstration of the Healthcare Referral Networks Hub Page Rank and Community Detection Starter Kit on Tiger Graph Cloud. I hope you found this demonstration helpful, and I also hope that it allowed you to see the powerful capabilities of this starter kit. I encourage you to explore this starter kit for yourself or explore some of the many other starter kits we have on Tiger Graph Cloud or reach out to us at sales at tigergraphcloud.com with your suggestions or questions. Thank you for watching.